Hi guys and welcome to C Sharp tutorial of a calculator De developed using closure function. So here we have the result of uh, 200, uh, 280. So let's assume we want to maybe add, let's say 40 to it. There we go. We have 320. Let's assume we add in another. 320 by 320 that will give us 600 plus you can see that and if you want to multiply that we just enter the multiplication sign and enter what value let's say multiply by 2 that should give us 1280 as you can see so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take you guys straight into c sharp development environment and we will put one of these together so i'm going to start by clicking on create new project and right here, I'm using console application. Select the C Sharp console application. And I'm going to click on next. So let's minimize it so that you guys can see what I'm about to do now. See this one here and click on that. See next. There we go. And let's just give that a name. I'll call that CS underscore calculator. underscore console there we go so now save that click on next and click on create and there we go my console interface is ready so right here we have an example of the console if you click on that that will just say hello world but we don't need that really that's it right there hello world so get rid of that and let's come right down here grab all of our project in there select whatever we have in there and delete that so the first thing is i'm going to create a class and i'm just going to call that class calculator there we go and i'm going to enter statement block Right inside the statement block, I'm going to start by saying static void main because it's not going to return any value. So let's say string that's going to be string array is empty and that will be argument. Accept that. Now come right down here, enter another coil braces. And right in here, I'm going to declare the following variables. So as a double and I'll call that result that will be equals zero now I'm going to use a while loop y true so come down here let's enter coil bridges and in here I'm just going to say console and I want you to write as follows. Right line. What's right line are you? Am I talking about? It's going to be the result. So in here, let's enter something like current current result. So. To be able to use this variable in here, I'm going to then add a plus sign in there so that I can use that. So I also want the right line to write as follows for the end user. So come right down here and just say write console. I want you to write as follows. So in there, we'll just say enter, enter a number or an operator. So Okay, make that an operator. So let's define the type of operator I'm, that I'm going to be using, and that is going to be the plus sign, comma, the subtraction, comma, multiplication, comma, and division. Those are the operators that I intend to use. And I'm going to come right here, just enter column in there. And let's close up the operator itself. 
there we go get rid of this so we just get rid of this one yeah that shouldn't be there okay that is fine now that that is taken care of now i'm going to declare another variable that's going to be a string variable and in there i'm going to call it input and input that will be equals console dot read line so that will read whatever value i enter right in here okay so now let's come right down here i'm going to create a comment in there and this comment i'm just going to call it console no let's say closure closures for each arithmetic operator so i'm using the function closure so right here now let's let me create my function code closure so i'm going to say action now let's enter the variable uh, the data type double and i'm going to say equals no that should be double double num so this double num that's for the variable i intend to use so i'm going to come out of there the system has already enter lambda for the, for me which is which sometimes is known as a anonymous function so using that very lambda i'm going to say lambda that will be equals result plus number or num i call it it doesn't make call me there and I'm going to come out of here and just get rid of that. Okay. And enter semicolon. Now, I've created my first closure function. So copy that. And that's for the addition. Paste and paste. So this one I'm going to change this one to subtraction. Subtraction. Or let's just call it subtract and in that case we subtract equals number why this one is going to be multiply and we change the name of these two this one should be add change the name of these two multiply there we go and this is going to be known as divide there and enter divide here there okay all right so let's enter a variable in here or oh, let's enter a comment here so the, this comment i'm going to use it to check the following but let's let me enter my variable and uh, I'll just call that number. Now, using an if statement, I'm going to say if double dot, let's say try, okay, try the Try whatever we pass in there, so that should be. So let's just accept all of that. Then we we'll, and here I'm gonna change this to okay, that would be my curly braces. Okay, that's fine. Now, in here, I'm gonna change this to add number. So grab hold of this and let's just say dot add number okay so we say ebook number so i'm just you know enter bracket in there and enter 
number all right so that is taken care of so in this case this one is going to be let's just say use add closure to add a number so that would be let's enter the that in there so we enter that comment in there there we go now i'm going to copy this and now i want to use an if statement else if okay let's come down here else if the input equals equals the plus sign enter statement block in that case we want the system to write as follows so we can say write number grab all of this so i'm going to say console equals console dot writes enter a number i say to add there we go now the number that we just added let's have a local variable called number in there that will be equals double i want you to pass as follows so what are we passing we're actually passing whatever we have inside the read line okay so let's see read line I'm gonna grab all of this console dot read line. That is input. No. So that is get rid of the input console dot read line and enter parentheses. There we go. Okay, in that case we just say add. That is right up here add that would be equals number taking the value number now there so let's just enter a comment in there we use a let's use let's just say use a closure or something like that or use added closure all right so that's my comment in there use add closure to add number to result so i'm going to copy that and just change it around for the subtract paste and change this to subtract there we go and the data in here that will become subtract right and here we now need to change here to subtract so we're now making use of the delegate in there there we go you see it's highlighted now oh it's in the wrong place undo that it's meant to be here there Okay, so I'm going to copy that and repeat the same thing for the next one. And another one underneath here. So I'm going to use this one as maybe we should just enter multiplication in there. The multiplication sign, and we need the delegate called multiplication in there. I paste that right here. There we go. That's good and we now need to have a look at the division let's change this one to division oh that reminds me multiplication is there right that is right okay we have division in there as well so this one become division or is it i call it divide not division all right that is good so get rid of this now give me an arrow 
Okay, I'm just going to speed that up and change all of these variables. So this one will come by number. Okay, use divide. So I'm just going to speed that up. Okay, that is fine. I've taken care of the of the comment. Now, underneath here, I'm now going to enter a default. Let's say else. We want console to write line as follows. So let's say right line in there, and that is going to be invalid input. And there we go. So let's try out our program before then. Let me show you guys the line so we could take a good look at it. Okay. I'm going to increase the font size a little bit so that you guys can see. Okay, let's kind of name it that about 20. There. Okay, so take a look, good look at it. Take it from the top here. Bring it to where I have my closure functions. Now, here. So check if the input is a number or operator that take care of that and in here if you say if it's an operator do as follows as for the addition and this is for subtract the multiplication division and default message okay so let's run that so click on run okay now let's say we enter 12 enter the operator multiply by 12 that is a right there 144 and let's add let's say we add in 120 to that there we go that should give you 264 and that's all there is to it that is how you create your own console calculator using the closure function so take a good look at the lines of code one more time then let's bring it down get rid of that I made a mistake okay there that's it take it back up bring it right down and down again and there we go exit out and run it one more time let's enter whatever plus let's say plus 10 there so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you guys enjoyed um, please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel. You all have a nice day now and bye for now.